Welcome to the Spare Bedroom. We are here once again, February, what is today? The 8th? All right, February 8th, as always, with Eric Lex, Newton Kaiser, Ryan Cooks, Cuckoo Roots, and myself, Dan Crooked Cut Esplin. And as I said, this is the Spare Bedroom Show, where once a week the three of us gather in the Spare Bedroom, talk about random things, have a few laughs, and today we're going to be doing some three-way debating. A little bit Valentine's theme since it is February, but I mean... It's not really Valentine's themed at all. Uh, but before we get Find to the, the topics of debate, as always, we record these shows live on Sundays at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on twitch.tv slash the spare bedroom, where you can hop in the live chat, help us uh, decide who wins the debate. Uh, we'll put putting up polls later when we start those, so be excited for that. Yeah, get excited. Woo. There's also emotes now, so if you look in chat and you're a subscriber, there may be some uh, spare bedroom emotes. Maybe they got approved. I don't know. I did them a week ago, so I didn't get a notification or anything. Uh, as well, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free subscription to uh, Twitch Prime. Uh, that has to be redoed every month, and it's a new month, so that means you could subscribe to us again. It costs you nothing, but it helps this channel out. As well, go over to our YouTube channel subscribe over there like our videos watch anything you missed all of our content that we put up here is over there the next day uh, so go over to youtube.com slash their spare bedroom as well any audio podcast services apple music spotify you name it we're there as well and with all that out of the way guys how's it going all right, and we're back here. If you've just been tuning in, today's been our three-way debate. You just missed our best rom-com debate. We still have who we were fighting for. Uh, Eric won it with The Wedding Singer. Ten votes to nothing. No love for Clueless or There's Something About Mary. Even though Kooks did uh, just shill his votes for Eric in a bold move. Bold move, Cotton. Oh, I got something to kind of shout out here. He wanted me to shout out. He, you know oh, that, that's right. Yeah. You know that claymation video that he like did, made us all do an audio for? Mm -hmm. It's done now. Yeah. You guys want to check out Aiden's clay video? I'll put the YouTube link yeah. in we'll the chat. That at the end. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Anyways, I just want, I just, if I didn't bring, bring it up now, I was going to yeah. fucking yeah. forget. No, I forgot all about it. I told him <laughs> we would post that. We all, we all, we all did voices for Aiden's claymation video. It's fucked up, but it's awesome. All right. so. All right, so I'm going to clear these. Uh, Kooks, I believe we're heading into your topic, so you can start it off. Let's do it. All right, so we are going to do best celebrity power couple. They do not still have to be together, uh, but that might be a point against you if they're not. <laughs> um, but we're going to talk about the best celebrity power couples of all time. I started it off, and I went with the Queen and Hova. I went with Jay-Z and Beyonce. I went with the king and queen of the Illuminati. Don't say it out loud, all right? <laughs> all right? Rock, the Rock is in the building, Jay-Z and Queen B. Uh, they've been dating since 2001. 20 years together, you guys. 20 years together. Really? Yep. They were married in 2008. Uh, they have some banger songs together. They have 03 Bonnie and Clyde off the Blueprint. Uh, was that Blueprint 2? Yeah, that's Blueprint 2 or 3. So off the blueprint three, I think actually they have crazy in love. Eric sing crazy in love. I don't know how that one goes. <laughs> I can't. I can't just like start singing the song with those. I need to, like. I can do single. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, wait, that's not it. Yeah, wait, no, wait, that's no. not it. Yeah, they have crazy in love. Also, they are a part of the Illuminati. So if you don't vote for them, they're gonna know. Uh, and even uh, even when they go through some tough times, they still put out bangers. The Lemonade album was basically uh, my marriage is rough right now album by Beyonce and it won Grammy. So my power couple don't have to go deep in depth. It's Beyonce and Jay Z. I don't think it is even up for a debate. Well, that's what we're here for. So go ahead. Let's hear it. <laughs> Eric, you can go. Uh, I went old school on this one. I went Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, the OG power couple. Oh, fuck. You gotta get, get there. Just go. Oh. <laughs> they uh, have been in a, in a relationship since Valentine's Take Day, it. 1983. They have a son together who is a very mediocre actor. And I don't, when he's in a movie, I usually don't watch it. Anyways, that doesn't matter. Uh, they've actually never been married. They say that uh, they don't have to. They're so in love, they just don't have to. So, so you don't have to be in a relationship to be happy. <laughs> they're, basi they're, basi they're basically fuck they're basically fuck buddies. 
Now I see why Eric is so... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, they're still hot for each other. They're still fucking going strong. They're all, they're, they're pretty... I saw a picture. I was Googling pictures of them before the show, and they're, pretty, they're looking pretty rough now, but they are still. They probably still go at it every night. Um, <laughs> Kate Hudson considers Kurt Russell her actual father because I guess her real father is a, like a douchebag. And Overboard is a dope movie. <laughs> Overboard is a dope movie. That was, a, that, that was one of those TBS movies I was always on TBS. Yep. When I was a kid. A little peach tree TV. All it was right. TBS back then. Yeah. Dinner and a movie? Fuck. Oh, I was thinking about that the other day, man. Fuck that show those. fucking slap, bro. So good. Uh, all right. I, I, I'm I just going to concede. Somebody in chat blew it up. Hal Johnson and Joanne McLeod. <laughs> yeah. I think we can almost all agree if we thought about from that. Body, that's yeah. like from, the from fucking body winner. Yeah. Like, that is the ultimate fucking couple Do right they, there. They're married there, are they? Yeah, they have a kid now in their commercials too now. Do they, they still have commercials? Hal Johnson. I remember McLeod. them all like 10 years ago. Jeez. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't think of them. Uh, so I went I would have picked that one if you like, <laughs> I know. If I still can. Uh, uh, but I got a graphic, so I may as well use it. I'm going with the Muppets themselves, Kermit the Frog, and Miss Piggy. Jesus. Uh, together for 50 years. I want to say they came out in the 70s, the Muppets. They've been divorced. They've broken up. Yes, we know. It was a big thing in 2015, okay? But... Miss Piggy and Kermit are forever, okay? They're timeless. Uh, you want to talk about good movies? Muppets Take New York. That's a great movie. It is a great Any movie. Muppets. Muppets in Space. Muppets in Space, Muppets yeah. Treasure Island. Uh, Muppets Christmas Carol. Uh, you name it. And you got that power couple. Muppet Babies. Uh, is Miss Piggy abusive? And is Kermit a simp? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but when it gets down to the end of the day... Kermit just loves fucking fatties. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Kermit. <laughs> he just loves fucking big piggies, okay? And making them squeal. And that's what Kermit's all about. <laughs> oh, God. That's my opening statement. There's this meme going around where it's like a picture of Kermit the Frog and he's just got a fucking big hog. Right now, Dane is debating if he has to cut that for the YouTube edit or not. Like, that was his no, I'm like, that's our promo clip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the Instagram promo clip. Yeah. Oh. Kermit, Kermit likes to fuck fans. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Uh, all right, I'm going to put up the poll now so you guys can vote on these power couples. Uh, Kooks, take it away in shit talking ours. Yeah, sure. With your um, notes that you take. <laughs> well, honestly, I didn't take any for uh, Kurt Russell and Goldie because they haven't been relevant for about 25 years. Oh, so. shots fired! <laughs> I didn't really have to say anything too much about them. Congrats on one great movie that airs on TBS. I don't know if that's like how you become the number one power couple. And yeah, and you already said it. Kate Hudson isn't even his fucking daughter, so you can't even use that one, right? Uh... They are fantastic. Uh, they're great. They're just not the power couple. Neither of them has ever been linked to the Illuminati. <laughs> Neither of them has ever put out a number one single. Okay? <laughs> if you count it, honestly, I'm Kermit's put Google. out a number one single. Kermit does have a number one single, but he did yeah. it by himself. Uh, and then you did it for us. Uh, Miss Piggy beat the shit out of Kermit consistently. Like, you might have, I might as well have said Rihanna and Chris Brown. Don't kink shame. shame. Don't <laughs> kink shame Kermit, you might okay? As well have said Rihanna and Chris Brown, because Miss Piggy was an abusive, terrible, terrible, terrible girlfriend uh, that entire time. I, I think they got married in movies like six or seven times, but, <laughs> like, and they never got divorced, but then they finally got divorced. 2015, it didn't end happy, and it Did they really... Actually, what, is this, like, a thing? Yeah, <laughs> it's a big thing, and I'm pretty sure Ms. Piggy... He like, started fucking another pig, too, a yeah. skinnier pig, but then he was like, nah. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, yeah, the Miss Piggy thing is, is she was abusive. Kermit finally left her. Kermit's better off without. He had the number one singles. He was the star of the show. Kermit's the man, and he's better off without her. Okay. So I don't think they can be the number one power couple. Miss Piggy first cheated on Kermit with Troy McClure in The <laughs> Simpsons. Okay? We all remember. Oh, Troy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Kurt and Goldie Hawn, I mean, yeah, I'd watch them bang. 30 watch... years ago. Oh, <laughs> okay. there it is. I'm not watching old leather hit up against each other. 
<laughs> fucking just two old baseball gloves going at it. <laughs> no, thank you. you ever, have, you ever, have you ever been with a 70 year old woman? <laughs> it's pretty amazing. <laughs> they're so fragile. Yeah, they're so delicate. They'll make, you, they'll make you food after. Have you ever known what it's like to hold a life in your hand? <laughs> yeah. yeah you ever, do you know what it's like to have someone's life like on the line? Like you could accidentally kill this person? <laughs> All right, Jay Z and Beyonce. What about Becky with the good hair, huh? What about that whole shit, huh? We're talking about. What the Perfect couples? Nah, Jay Z's cheating on her non-stop, oh. non-stop banging hoes. There was a period, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there was a period, yes, and it turned into a Grammy-winning album, and they're still together. They exploited their love. Okay, <laughs> Man Overboard. That's a terrible movie. Let's be real. It's just called Overboard, <laughs> and it's a woman that goes overboard. <laughs> and that movie fucking kills it. Okay, you guys done? Yeah, go for it. Jay Z looks rough. (laughs) If we're talking about my guys looking like shit, Jay Z is looking not so good. And Beyonce definitely cheats on him. Like, there's no way she goes home to that every night and is just like, oh yeah, this is what this is all I need. She's out there getting some, getting some fucking dick from some other guy who's not a old, big lipped, weird (laughs) guy (laughs) who's like. Like he's a weird guy. <laughs> well, like he just it did that that meme where he's like on the sea do and he just looks like a old man. Kind of thing. <laughs> There's memes where it's like if this guy comes home to bomb Beyonce every night, you should just shoot your shot. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Miss Piggy is definitely beats fucking Kermit. Again, don't kink shame. Maybe he's into it. Uh, he's a gimp suit. She's a big chunker who's really mean. <laughs> And she's always running around screaming and and shit. And then they would have a really fucked up baby if they actually like, did have a kid. <laughs> and apparently they're divorced, which I just found out about two minutes ago. Like, what would their kid look like? It'd be a fucking freak. Every moment I live is agony. Yeah. <laughs> You're a fucking yeah. freak. Anyways, that's... Uh- that's what I got. Jay-Z and Beyonce have 36 number one singles combined. 36. You have one movie. <laughs> I have multiple movies. You have five, six movies. Some and songs and, and movies. And half of them are just Jason Siegel being awkward. And you don't want to be in a movie with the person you love. That's like, you don't dip your pen in the company ink. That's your whole argument. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, they, they did it right. They did a couple movies together, but they don't do it all the time. Like fucking his, uh, Kermit and Miss, Miss Piggy. That's why they're always fighting. That's why they're always beating the shit out of each other. It's because they're always working together in movies. <laughs> Secretly, uh, the two people who puppet Kermit and Miss Piggy fuck too. So like, that's added love. It's Jim Hansen's <laughs> left and right hand. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> the poll is up. All right, I am going the to be ending up. the poll here. Any last words, guys? I don't know. I think. Hey, just... vote for yourself because Eric just did to take one point lead. <laughs> <laughs> Are we allowed to vote for ourselves? I thought you guys were. I guess if we all did, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not logged out. I need to be logged into something else. Uh, all right, we're ending the poll here. What do we got? If I won by one poll, we'll call it a tie. I'll just cancel my As poll. we're doing this, too, what do we got? Yeah, what are some of the suggestions from the audience? Uh, suggestions from the audience? No, they're not good. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Body break, that one was good. Um, With... Dude, Derek's just blowing up the fucking chat. <laughs> With Eric, uh... Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez. Eric pulling the trump and pulls the steal. Uh, by one vote. Himself. If I lost by one, if I won by one vote, Eric I would call it a tie. Eric wins by one vote. Uh, it's five votes for Kurt and Goldie, four votes for Kermit and Miss Piggy, and only two votes for Jay and Bay. Jay and Bay. What's their... Don't they have, doesn't their kid have a stupid name? Blue. Blue. Blue yeah. Ivy. Blue Celebrities Blue. in their... Dumb kids' names. Gwyneth Paltrow's kids' name is fucking Apple. Kanye and fucking Northwest. Kent, Northwest. And what's their <laughs> other one? Um, oh, I can't remember. It's Nikki, like, you know. It's Nikki, like tell us in the chat. Like, what the Kanye's stupid. other kids' name is. Yeah, what are some other? Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. They, but they all, the only shitty thing about that is they hooked up on the set of Green. Green I was gonna Green, go uh, uh, Lantern. And Sasha Baron sucks. Cohen and uh, Elsa Fisher. One. I like that one. I Judd know. Apatow and uh, what's her ass, Leslie Mann. Oh, that's actually good one too. They're doing okay, um, except 
except uh, his movies were kind of going off the deep end there. And who was the couple but who uh, getting, uh, they fucked did. up the Oscars and they fucked up the uh, the La La Land that thing? Mm. Steve Harvey? No, no. <laughs> Steve Harvey fucked up like the yeah, Miss USA the or whatever. Miss Universe thing. Um. <laughs> Uh, isn't it like Robert Redford? No, but it was like some old fucking you know, some Hollywood old couple. couple. Uh, Kate, they're Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. That's what like, I almost thought it was them, but then I know it's Warren them. Beatty and Faye Dunaway. There you go. Oh, that guy's still around. <laughs> yeah. I saw him in one movie like not that long ago, and I was like, oh, he looks. <laughs> He looks like he's seen some shit. <laughs> he looks like you've been through some shit, man. Yeah, man, he's been through... He's, he's, he was definitely there for World War One. <laughs> Are we time tripping next week? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, we're just running another <laughs> quick ad here. Know.